Hey guys, what's up? It's Mago. Welcome back to another episode of ARK. And today, first off, I have a clip for you from a Megapithecus fight earlier, or rather yesterday. It kinda just attacked the base and uh, yeah, hope you enjoy the clip and after that uh, I'll meet you over there at the main island for a pretty nice tame. It's a surprise, so might see you in a minute. Oh, actually, um, I forgot to mention I tamed. Uh, no, I didn't tame. I bred up the squat, so it's a hundred percent imprinted, and I leveled a little bit of speed on him. So um, it's just uh, just a tiny bit quick. So <laughs> all right, now enjoy the clip of the Megapithecus fight. So um, there's this Megapithecus here. Kinda. Wait, why is he not attacking the Titan? Okay, so I can kill him like that, yeah. Okay, that would be cool. Oh, oh. Okay, guys, help! Oh, no, don't, 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 don't die! No, my Quetzals! No! Not cool. You guys get him! Oh, yay! So, this was the third time. One of these things attack over here. God, it's it's kind of a pain, and then both my quetzals die. And I mean, I found a higher level quetz earlier, but uh, the server crashed and we rolled back, so I lost that one. But it might still be out there. But I guess uh, that's uh, some somewhat decent loot. All right, let's take that. And where's the bite from my other quetzal? I I think. I actually had them. Don't push me. I thought I actually had them on passive, but oh come on, let me pick this up. Okay, it's just a saddle. So I actually thought I had them on passive, but apparently not. And yeah, I think I'll just uh, go out quick and check for that. Um, oh, this mess. Where's m where's my hundred percent giga? And uh, I wanted to say I'll check for. Uh, for the quetzal that I tamed before the server crashed, so I guess I'll see you guys once I find my giga in here. Alright, welcome back. So, um, there he is. An Indominus Rex. Right here, can I spy glasses li it like that? Yeah, it's level 556, so it's kind of a decent level. I hope I don't fall down. And let's just knock it out. And... And then we take the super speedy quetzal, which is way too fast for anything. And then we kill this Allosaurus, and I hope he doesn't wake up in the meantime. Oh wait, he's kinda stuck in a cliff. Can we even get there? Um, this looks bad. How is your- no, we can't get there. Uh, okay, so I'll wait for him to wake up and then we'll knock him out again, like... Like over here, I guess. Okay, I'll be ready when he wakes up and charges us. Oh, he woke up. Oh, oh, where are you? Oh, I missed. Oh. Are you okay, Quetzi? <laughs> I think he actually... Wait, he just... How did he just tame? I didn't give him anything. Oh, he has... M Meat in his inventory? What? What just happened? How does he have meat in his inventory? That's super strange. Alright, so I already have a saddle because I found one uh, at some point. And then we'll put you on neutral and I don't know where to leave the quetzal. Like, uh, having it follow is gonna be a pain. Um, maybe... No, that's kind of far... Huh. I have no idea how to... I guess I'll have the Quetzal following. Or maybe I'll bring the Quetzal back to base before I level up the Innum, but... Oh, we're invisible! <laughs> That's so cool. Um, Yeah, I guess I'll go back to base with both of them. Wait, can we lift him? Probably not, but let's try. Even though it's gonna be super hard with a uh, speedy quetzal. Wait, wait, don't stop falling. Alright, uh, now... Wait, 
wait, I can't even see him. Oh no, no, Quatsu, you way too quick. Oh, that was, uh, okay, that was not him. Um, yeah, okay, let's just, let's just have you follow. If you can even keep up. Alright, come on, follow. And I'll just wait. Ooh. Okay, uh, so I guess I'll see you guys in a minute. Alright, I guess we can leave the Quetzal over here at the Penguin Island while we get some XP to start with. But first off, let's actually check out the stats. So, 13,000 health, 6,600 stamina, which is pretty nice actually. Uh, wait, I don't really care, but it's, re it's really nice. And 650 melee damage, which I feel like is kind of low. But um, we'll pump health for a start. And uh, maybe uh, later on some melee damage. Oh yeah, and um, we actually changed the stats a little bit. So we don't get as much per level up anymore. Like, the initial teams are just as strong, but the level ups are not as strong. And we also turn on these damage numbers that you can see right now. So that's actually pretty cool. Um... I feel like they are sometimes a little bit buggy though, but I don't know, maybe I just uh, expect more or less. <laughs> Alright, so I'll be leveling up for a little bit. Do you guys, do you not have food or, okay, it's just this one again. So, uh, like I said, I'll be leveling up for a bit and then I'll meet you guys later when we can, uh, Kill some stronger things. So we just added this uh, mod. What is it called? Primitive Survival Equipment Plus, I believe. Um, we added it yesterday, and there's some uh, keratin and chitin tools, and there's also some obsidian tools, or rather, an obsidian multi tool, which I really want to check out. So, um, but we oh, we can craft in the inventory. Okay, so. I'm guessing we need smithy for it, and that takes obsidian ingots, and we'll make those in this forge, I'm guessing. So we'll need some... everything that a normal smithy does, I think. <laughs> Alright, let's see. Alright, let's make one of these then. And I'm guessing we'll need obsidian to craft obsidian ingots. And maybe some metal? I don't know if you need raw metal though, I barely have any. I need to farm some if that's the case. Alright, let's check this out. Oh, I also made some of these walls, but I'll show you those later. For now, let's check out this. Oh, that's, that's neat. Actually, let's uh, put it over here because we don't need this forge, I think. So, wait, why is it? Why is it kinda kinda sideways? I don't like that. I guess we'll just place it like this. Okay, now obsidian ingot. We need raw metal. Damn. We don't have any. And uh, let me store this forge over not over here, maybe over here? Yes, over here. That's good. Alright, so do we have any raw metal at all? But it's not called raw metal. Okay, we have a little bit. So how much did we need for this smithy? Ten of them. Alright, let's make ten. And then I hope we don't need too many um, wood. Okay. And then I hope we don't need too many for a uh, tool. But we'll see about that in just a minute. Give me some wood. And now you make me 10 obsidian ingots, please. Alright, well that took a while. Now let's make this smoothie and let's see how many ingots we need for the obsidian tool. Let's see how this looks actually. Oh, it has the same base model. Can we... no? Okay. Oh, too bad it's night right now, but let's just come it up a little. That looks kind of cool, I guess, yeah, kind of. Okay, so the obsidian multi-tool needs 30 ingots. 
Okay, so wait, it has... Oh, it says Primitive Survival Equipment Plus. Okay, that's cool. Anyways, we need 30 more ingots, so I guess uh, I'll just sit around and wait for these 30 ingots and then I'll bring you guys back. Alright, here goes the last ingot and now we can make this multi-tool over here. And I actually want to use one of the quality potions on it. Um, that's not the quality potions. These are the quality potions. Okay, let's get one of those. And then we take this. And actually, I'm gonna just pick some equipment that I need to duplicate. Alright, so um, let's duplicate this and I hope that I get a pretty good obsidian tool so no oh, it's just apprentice mm, let's give it another go I mean I have quite a few of those let's just equip this apprentice so we have a better chance I don't know if it matters but maybe it does and ramshackle do we try it again no let's let's just test out the apprentice I mean it should be good enough okay start everything now it's time to test out this thing so okay it looks a bit funny doesn't it so I swap with mouse wheel no how does it why does it not swap I mean <sighs> Wait, did it swap? Oh, there. Okay, so what is what? Um. I don't. I don't know what is what. Let's just test it. So I would guess that. Um, that is the pick. No, is that the sickle? Oh, it's the sickle. Okay, so. That is the pick? Okay, yes it is. Then that would be the hatchet, I'm guessing. Um, that's not much wood. Is that not the hatchet? Is this the hatchet? No. What? Which one is the hatchet? That was the sickle. That was the pick? No, that should be the hatchet, but it doesn't give a lot of wood. Oh, there we go. Now it gives some decent amount. Okay. And that last one would be the club then. I don't want to test it on anything, but um, this is pretty neat. Besides uh, the swapping, that's kind of a pain. But uh, yeah, um, I mean, I need some wood anyway, so let's just collect a little bit. Because I was actually um, crafting up some building materials because I feel like it's time that we build our base. And if you guys remember, I wanted to build the base like up there where all the titanos are, sp are spawning all the time. Um, just right next to the lake over there. And I mean since we have a nice giga right now, with, uh, which we can just kill the titans whenever they spawn. Uh, we might as well start building up there, but I need a lot, lot, lot more wood for the for the building uh, structures, whatever, you know, all the walls and foundations and stuff like that, so I'll be grinding out some wood in the meantime. So we just tested out this uh, multi-tool thingy, right? But we completely forgot to compare how much we get with the hatchet. So this was 360 wood. And the hatchet gives us 460. Well, I guess I'll be collecting my wood with the hatchet still then. Because it's just so much better. But don't forget this is an apprentice with 660% melee damage versus an apprentice of... No wait, that's an ascendant. I think I just said apprentice. Um, versus 156 melee damage on the apprentice multi tool. So, yeah. I mean, of course, a cylinder is gonna be better with those values, but. Um, I said I'd show you guys uh, these, these walls that I made. 
this thing and investigate. It's actually that's the wrong smithy because it's over here. So do you have the gates? You do. So I was thinking of putting one of these walls around my base because uh, of the titanosaurus and uh, the megapithecus and stuff like that and they're just like huge behemoth walls basically. Apparently they don't go into stasis so stuff does not actually uh, get inside your base but they're just uh, massive walls and yeah I don't I don't know if I actually like that but maybe like I said I made one for now there's one weird thing about it though I mean look in the um, actually you can't see it right like this so I'll pick it off now it says mega metal wall like it's a wall right Okay, now here it says metal door and you can open it and it's just so strange like I have no idea but something is wrong I think like is it supposed to be like that <laughs> I mean sure it's cool that the act is a door but what do you have the behemoth door for then? Actually how big is this? And does it snap? No it does not snap. Wait what is the gate doing? Is it opening and closing? And stuff? Or are you fully closed now? No it doesn't snap though. But this is just as high if I see it correctly. Or the... No it's, it's just as high. But yeah, I'll keep those things for now. Because we don't need them down here, we need them up there. And I don't I don't know if I'll if I'll build a wall with that. Like it seems a little bit weird. I don't know. But we I think we do need a wall of some sort. Just uh with what? I mean we might as well just do like behemoth kid next behemoth gate but that's gonna be I mean it's not it's not gonna be that expensive because we have like tons of metal over here and we also have tons of cementy paste it's just yes it's a cementy paste so uh it's not it's not gonna be that bad mm, yeah we'll see all right so I smelted up some more things because I actually want to check out this crystal sword as well over here so let's make one of these and yeah just I just want to see how much damage it does if it's better than a normal sword maybe I should pick a non ascendant let's see do we have any like weaker one um 127 I guess we can test this versus the crystal sword and uh, now we just need to find something to kill oh come on let me okay so usually there's oh oh it looks fancy look at that it looks like a glass sword actually <laughs> but oh, that's cool I wanna does it glow in the dark that's so cool <laughs> how does it look in out? oh we are a fancy top hat knight <laughs> oh my that's so cool. Alright, let's find something to test out the damage. I, I really wonder how much it does if it does more than a normal metal sword. Oh, there's a compi. Okay, that's 5,000. Then the next one. Oh, more compies. Um, yeah, it, it does more. Alright. Uh, let's harvest these because I need the compy feathers or what they're called. Oh wait, the dust cloud, do you see that? Ooh, that's so cool! Now give me your compy feather stuff. Can you... Uh, why can I not just get it from harvest? Wait, I need to pull it out of the inventory? Okay, I didn't know that. I thought I would just get it when I harvest them. But it glows. It glows, it's so cool. 
<laughs> I love this. This is great. I need to get an ascendant one of these. It's awesome. Holy shit. Actually, I wonder. Can I? Can I see the glowing K mod as well? Oh, look at that. Oh, it's so cool. Oh, there's a bear. What level are you, bear? Hmm. We kill the bear with this. Nah, I don't want to kill the teddy. So cute and fluffy. <laughs> Right guys, this is actually gonna be it for today, so as always, thank you for watching, hope you enjoyed it, and if you did, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe, and I actually have a little sneak peek for you for next episode. We got a Stargate! Alright, so you'll, you'll see that in the next episode, so stay tuned, and see you guys next time! Bye! Oh, that's weird, but it still goes! Ooh.